Okay, so this is part 7, the final part of the Rubik's Cube solution. So what we'll have now is the bottom two layers all in position and the whites all in position. The yellow cross completed, including the lower edge pieces, so the orange matched up there, for example, and the blue matched up there. And we're just left with four corners. Four corners which are in the correct positions, but not necessarily orientated the correct way. Now, I've actually got two that are orientated the correct way, and two that aren't. What you do depending on what situation you've got in front of you, any corners that aren't solved, put them on the right hand side. So if these two are solved, so I'm okay here. If you've got all four not solved, then you'd have to do the first stage and then do it again, rotate and keep doing that until it solves. But what I'm gonna do here is just talk you through how to correct the ones that are orientated the, the wrong way. So it's just a very sim simple algorithm here. So if you refer to the description on this video, it will tell you the algorithm, but I'll just go through it anyway now. It is R, 2u, r prime, u prime, r, u prime, r prime, and then you work on the left and it goes l prime, 2u, l, u, l prime, u, l. Now, what that's done there is it's solved two of the corners and sometimes you'll get this so there's two corners that still aren't solved here so I'm actually going to have to do the same algorithm again and if you had four corners that weren't solved you're probably going to have to do this anyway so the same algorithm again which is R 2U it doesn't matter if you go clockwise or anti-clockwise when you're doing two obviously it's going to have no impact R prime U prime R U prime R prime and on the left L prime 2u l u l prime u and you'll get some excitement here l and there we go we have solved the rubik's cube please like the video and subscribe i'll have lots of similar and exciting videos on soon thank you